basically nothing changed in the House of Commons. I think Conservatives lost a couple seats. They might have picked a couple up. But basically, it's it's uh, it's a uh, it looks identical to what they did mm -hmm. before. So I think that that says resoundingly that people didn't want an election. And the other thing that I really really heard at the doors was was the level of fear, anxiety, and uncertainty. Um, both within our families and within our businesses, and um, there's there's a lot of a lot of healing that needs to be done here, and that's something I'm gonna I'm gonna spend a lot of time on on bringing unity back to uh, back to society. You mentioned fear, anxiety, and uh, and uncertainty. Any specific sources for that? Is it? Uh... Yeah. Do they connect those emotions to to issues? Very much so. So um, specific to that would be the the cost of living. I know it, I, I spoke with a, a number of seniors, and they said, you know, the price of gas, the price of a head of lettuce, especially where on, when you're on a fixed income, mm -hmm. uh, we are having a hard time making ends meet anymore. And then when we go the other direction. We talk about our young adults, and if they could even find a house, how can they afford it? And if they can afford it, can they afford to get car insurance? I mean, the, the price of housing, supply and demand, it's, it's pretty black and white. And yeah. so we heard a lot on that side too. And then of course, the, the uncertainty side was our, was our businesses. So you go from opening up to coming to a, a screeching halt to opening back up, screeching halt, that's the uncertainty side of things. So, um, you know, I just, I heard it for basically 36 days during the election and long before the election ever happened. So I, I wanted to make sure I was listening to them and uh, having conversations with them.